So all of my life, I have taught my son to choose a path, pick a lane. You make decisions, your decisions will be either black or white. They're gonna be unethical or they're gonna be ethical. And I've always said, the minute you walk down the gray area in the middle, you're making excuses to do what is actually unethical because that's what the ego does. The ego loves the gray. The ego loves blurring lines. But realistically, whatever is ethical will be white. Whatever is unethical will be black because what happens is if you choose to go down the gray and the gray area calls you towards the black, then there's something in your ego and in your perspective where you feel entitled to do whatever it is that might be unethical. But that's a learning lesson too, because you're going to go down, down the dark. You're going to attract more dark and eventually you'll get slapped in the face. It's going to be life lessons. It'll get dirty, but you're going to get slapped in the face by the universe. Then you get a chance to come back into the gray and you get to choose again. Are you going to go black again or are you going to go white? But this time in the gray, you see the light. You do see a little bit of light. So you get to choose always your destiny. It's based on your perspective and your ethics to how far you're going to get. You could be in the black and let me tell you, you could be screwing over so many people. But if you really don't give a shit, if you don't hold on to any shame or any guilt within you, within your chakras, if you're guilt free and you feel like, I don't give a shit, I'm completely entitled. And there is no sense of any sort of guilt in your subconscious mind. That's the key. If it's not programmed into your subconscious mind, you'll be fine in the dark. You're and you will do well in the dark. But it's those ethical moments in the gray where you get to choose what kind of life you're going to live. But here's what I'm starting to learn. All these years I've taught my kid not to be in the middle and you make the ethical decision. You make what is right. And you know, you're going to know what is right. You'll feel it. You always know what's right. And even if you go towards the dark side, if ethically, if in your childhood things are messed and all you know is the dark side, then you're not going to feel wrong about it. So this had me thinking. I was like, you know what? Maybe I taught my kid wrong all these years. Maybe what I said was too black and white. Maybe what we have to do is we have to sit in the middle and we have to observe the black and the white. We have to observe what is good and what's bad. And from that observation, we get to make the choice of what we want to do. So I'm still saying the same thing. You see, I'm, I'm still saying like pick a lane, you get to choose. But the way I was referring to don't be in the middle, you need to pick a lane. I'm heavily going in to one side and I'm judging the other. So I taught him to judge the dark. But Really now, as I grow in consciousness and spiritual, like spiritually, what I'm starting to understand is no, 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 you do sit in the middle. You need to sit in the middle because in the middle is where you get to observe your thoughts. In the middle is where you get to pick black or white based on what you want without any judgment. So I'm basically like saying the same thing, but in a total different way because I've had a reality shift. Do you see when people say that their timelines are shifting, their realities are shifting, everything is shifting. This is it. What I just talked to you about, how I raised my child, how I thought, I just realized now, a couple of days ago actually, that holy fuck, maybe being in the middle is where you need to be. That's where the choice is. 
That's where you get to decide and make a decision of what you want to do and how you want your life to turn out, what lessons you want. You could come from the ego the whole time, but if you don't hold on to shame or guilt, you're not going to karmically get back more shit. You'll probably grow money-wise, success-wise, even if you do people dirty because you don't give a shit. You don't feel bad. You, But like I said, it can't be in your subconscious mind. If there's even a little tinge of guilt, you'll see it in your external world. You may lose it all, but you will see it. So yeah, this is what a reality shift is. This is what a timeline shift. I'm still the same person. I, I, I haven't changed any. The only thing that's changed is my mind, my perspective has grown. This has now shifted my reality. Not that I judged others. I mean, sometimes you do. I can't help it. I'm human, right? But I have made a conscious effort not to judge others for years now, for years, years, years. And I think with that conscious effort, it actually brought me to what I'm realizing today, that there is no good or bad. Your life is your life. And that's that God inside of you, right? That's that's that that ultimate bliss that you want. Let's say the ultimate bliss, the Godhead, the seed is inside your heart. Just pretend, okay? If that seed is inside your heart, that seed is full of joy and bliss. Here, it's our job to come back to that joy and to bliss, back to that seed. How do you come back? The the Godhead, after the Godhead comes your uh wisdom. And wisdom is not the same as knowledge. Wisdom is when you access the higher mind. You see the higher mind will get you back into this Godhead, into your own joy and bliss. Knowledge is still the material world, what we read in books, which may or may not be true. But the higher mind, wisdom is always right. So my reality shifts. See how when people are saying, oh, they're... They're jumping timelines. They had a reality shift. I shifted to 4D, 5D, whatever. This is it. This is all it is. Exactly what I just told you. I shifted my perspective and I know I've grown and I'm thinking differently. I'll, like right now, that's why I'm doing this vlog. Crazy, right? Love you guys.